Yo, what's up guys? I just got back from campus and finally picked up my iPhone SE from the UPS store. And yeah, it's definitely been a long week waiting for this thing. So I'm really excited to unbox it with you guys. And uh, I know it's like the old iPhone 8 design and everything, but first of all, it's cheap and it's got upgraded internals. So it's time to put this thing to the test and see how good it actually is. And who knows, it might actually be my backup phone cause I do use a MacBook and iPad every day. So it would really fit in with the Apple ecosystem. But uh, anyways, that's Let's get started. All right, so classic of Apple, you don't need a knife to unbox this, so you can just use the pull tab. Oh, okay, I screwed that up, but whatever. All right. Okay, the box is actually bigger than I thought. No plastic packaging. That's, oh, there's a pull tab here too, okay. Um, beautiful, and the other one. I don't know if you guys can even hear that, but let's open this thing. <gasps> Come on, drop, okay. <gasps> there we go, oh, beautiful. Oh, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought, like 4.7 inch screen, okay. Oh wow, it feels nice. So it's got this dark, vibrant red. It's darker than I thought, but uh, yeah, it's peelless screen protector. Ooh. <laughs> Almost dropped that phone, okay. What, oh, it goes along the back, that's why. Well, that's stupid. Okay, feels really good in the hand. It's really light and small. It's got its touch ID thing. Damn, feels really good. I never actually had an iPhone 6 or like an 8 growing up, so I never really know how it felt, but uh, feels good. All right, let's see what else is in the box. We got our standard USB-C to lightning cable in the box. And of course, no charger. And, ooh, are those red stickers? Okay, we got our product red card. And uh, oh, come on, no red stickers, that's sad. And we got our SIM ejector tool. All right, let's power this thing on. Oh my God, it's such a small screen, holy. All right, I'm gonna go set this up and I'll be back later today with my first impressions and everything. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, I just finished setting up the iPhone and used it for a couple hours. And I've got to say, it's actually not bad at all. The first thought that came to mind before I got the phone would be how small the phone was and if it would actually be usable at all, but the size actually feels pretty great and the screen is big enough for all my needs and typing doesn't feel crammed either. The phone's also extremely light and comfortable to hold and it's actually so weird but good not having a camera bump in your way while holding the phone. But switching back to the front, the bezels do look horribly thick in 2022, but I honestly forgot about it pretty easily. The display is also decently bright and punchy, but the lack of ProMotion with 60Hz does make the touch response feel a little sluggish. Something I had a really hard time adjusting to was actually the home button, because guess what? I've never had a phone with a physical home button before. I kept forgetting and trying to swipe up for gestures, which became quite annoying. One thing that's also different with a home button is where the quick settings are. Funny enough, I actually had to text my friends to ask where it was because instead of swiping from the top right, you actually have to swipe from the bottom up, which actually feels quite nice. The best part about this home button though is Touch ID. I can't stress enough how much better physical fingerprint scanners are compared to in-screen fingerprint scanners. I can actually unlock my phone now and I'm honestly just so happy right now. Haptics are also mind-blowingly good on this phone, typical of Apple, and I just have no idea how it actually feels like you're pressing down the physical home button when you tap it. I really wish that the iOS keyboard supported haptics though, because Apple could flex the haptic engine even more. And speaking of the iOS keyboard, I absolutely hate it because autocorrect sucks and the emojis are nothing compared to the ones found on the Android version of Gboard. But anyways, this phone has the brand new A15 processor, which means that the phone is the fastest phone on the market right now. And yes, faster than the $1,200 S22 Ultra that's three times more expensive. Apps open super duper fast and nothing ever slows down or lags, which makes the phone an enjoyable one to use. It also future proofs this phone for the years to come, which is great. But that's only if the battery can hold up to the test of time because in such a small body, the physical battery is really small and the previous iPhone SEs were known to have pretty bad battery life. This phone also now supports 5G, which should destroy the phone battery even more. I haven't used it enough to tell you how the battery actually is, but Apple supposedly improved the battery life this year by two hours, but we'll definitely have to test that out in my day in life vlog and full review. That also means you should subscribe to my channel because I make really awesome tech videos. All right, we only have the cameras left to talk about, and sadly, they haven't been updated since the model from two years ago. 
you get the same 12 megapixel lens on the back and a 7 megapixel selfie camera. Although the hardware is the same though, the A15 does bring some processing improvements like deep fusion for sharper photos, and uh, based on my testing today, they do look pretty decent and sharp with no shutter lag at all. Video can also be shot at up to 4K60, which is nice, but the front camera only supports 1080p sadly. There's also no night mode, which means nighttime shots don't look as great as the other iPhones. I'll definitely be testing the cameras quite a bit for the review though, so don't worry about that. And that's basically it for my first impressions. Super excited to test out the phone in the coming weeks, and feel free to drop any questions you guys have for me down below. And definitely don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for some fire content headed your way. Alright, have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.